Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Hero Fuel. I'm Dr. Zeno, and today we're going to be talking about hero, favor, capital. So I'm going to talk about hero, favor, capital. It's You're going to realize that this is one of the most amazing forms of capital you could have. So when we think capital, we think you know, financial as capital, but there's other forms of capital, and we'll go over those. So if you're watching this right now, please make sure that you say hello, all right? If you're watching this live, put a number one. If you're watching this on a replay, just put a number two. I'll answer any comments or questions you put there. I'll definitely get to them. Even if this is a replay, I'll always answer them. And uh, make sure you like, you know, comment other uh, people's uh, answers and also share as well, because as you share it, especially this would be a great one today, or tag somebody. So when we think of capital, we think money. Like, what is the return on investment? So I give you a dollar, where do I get my dollar back? But one of my mentors, Garrett Gunderson, and he wrote the New York Times bestselling book, Killing Sacred Cows, he talked about relationship capital. What the hell is relationship capital? Well, it's having relationships and the wisdom of those relationships and, and uh, in a sincere very good way. So that could be working with someone or, you know, or, or there's superheroes. That's why I'd like each person has their own superpowers, right? So, you know, working with people who are um, excellent in their area of expertise and you can learn from them or just how you could collaborate. So really in the seven years, relationship capital was such an amazing capital, like millions of dollars have been generated by you having two people to come together. They meet, uh, you have your, your, your uh, visions are aligned, your, your ethics actually creates um, new ideas. And it's almost like a think tank. And you say, hey, how can I help you? Well, how can I help you? Hey, I wanted to do this. Hey, so why don't we get together? So, you know, my vehicle is video and speaking. So I'd be like, hey, I got Alex here with the video. Why don't we do uh, make a course? Yeah, sounds good. So you see, like, you could bring these things again. That's called relationship capital. And I'll do another video on that one. But today I want to talk about hero favor capital, or let's just call it favor capital. So favor capital is this, and, um, and you guys probably know it, and, and, uh, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about this book in a negative view but, uh, when I do talk about it, but favor capital to me is always giving extreme amounts of value to someone else that they can never overvalue you back, meaning that like when, when you sincerely say, hey, listen, what can I do for you? How can I help you? How can I support you? How can I add value to you? That you give your all and you create value for that person in such a high level, in such a high amount, that if they said, well, what can I do for you? That whatever you would ask would still not reach the amount of value that you gave them, right? So by what I'm saying, so favor capital is that you really do a really great job and offer sincere, caring, uh, you, know, uh, you know, just abundance of your services or time or work with them or help them in some way where it is such value and you really did your best. You really shine through and, 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 and really delivered. And so when they, when they do say, well, what can I do for you? You never feel like there would be absolutely no guilt or no shame with you coming back and saying, hey, um, I need your help here. And without them saying, absolutely. So favor capital, it's a long-term game, okay? It's a long, I don't even call it a game. It's a long-term process because it's about relationships. And what you do is the way you could do it is um, there's a list of champions in your life, right? Right now, it's your friends, it's your family, it's old acquaintances, and it's really good. So I would get a piece of paper and write down old acquaintances, people from high school, especially with social media today. Just look at all the people on Facebook or Instagram. I mean, you got people from high school for all these other things and get that huge list there. Now watch how this is gonna happen. No matter where, this is, the, watch where I'm going with this. And then what I want you to do is take your time, there's no rush, personally, reach out to them, message them, email them, text them, call them. And, say, and look, I'm always gonna say, and it's all about intention, because I'm gonna talk about something in a moment. Sincerely, meaning like, hey, um, hey, hard, healthy hustle, right? Or, or hey, uh, hey, 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 uh, hey, Lizanza, right? Hey, I was thinking about you, because you did. Here's their name, I was thinking about you. I just wanted to reach out to you and say, listen, is there any way I could uh, help you? I could add, add any, any way you could use me or I could, I could add value or I could support what you're doing, whatever it is. 
Just please let me know. I'd love to help you. So I'm just coming there to do one thing is to serve. Because what I want to do is, I'm not just coming here to serve. Remember we talked about that when you're doing your thing, when you do you, and when you do the thing that you love to do, what does it do? It gives you energy, it gives you excitement, it gives you love, it gives you um, appreciation, it removes all depression, it gives you, uh, you know, clarity and great ideas, right? So when you're doing your thing, like you're in your zone. So it's my way of kind of selfishly being able to do my thing for somebody else, so I get rewarded by just being in my lane and then me being my lane is the best, you know, or your hero, right? You doing your, you're aligned with yourself or your hero self, you getting a chance to be you and do your hero thing for somebody else. When you're in your hero, you're your most authentic, best form and gift to the world anyway. So you know you're going to deliver amazing stuff to that person. So, and you do that. And so uh, I, you know, I do that every so often. How often do I do it? Uh, when I kind of feel it on my heart to do it, I'll go through my entire list and I build a list. Every, everybody I interact with, I build a list, I build a list. So every podcast of mine, I build a list. I put, oh, I was a guest, I put down their name, I put down their website, and then every six, eight weeks, if I, you know, I was sitting in the airport the other day, and I was sitting there, I had an hour and a half for two hours, and I'm like, and then my heart told me, hey, maybe it's a good time to reach out to your champions. So I just went there and started reaching out. Hey, how you doing? I reached out to him. Hey, listen, because I did a favor. I was on their podcast. I, I, I had met them before. You know, we, we, we had a, we, we decided, hey, listen, I just want to help. I just want to serve. I want to give you what I'm good at. Any way you could utilize my talents, boom. And, you know, I probably, I probably have a list of about two, 250 people. And I did it. And each, you know, the, the email per, or, or the message says the same. So I want you to, so, so you could have kind of, you could type out the message that you want. But then I would add, of course, their name and maybe something special and unique about them that you mean to make it a little bit more customizable. And out of that, you'll get quite a bit that email back. Hey, thank you so much. I was thinking about you too. Oh my God, I'm having a rough time. Your email cheered me up, whatever it is. So maybe just you reaching out was something because you listened to your heart. But then let's say 40 people, 50 people contact you back and then you work, how can I help you? And you start developing new ideas. It might be a new business, it might be a new uh, chapter, some way you could help them. It might be a, something that you could do to generate income, generate new ideas. And so it really, it opens up a lot of doors. So a bunch of doors and ideas and, and talks and phone calls were set up from this favor capital. So, and then you deliver your best. So again, mine is video, and mine is speaking. So for instance, I'm gonna to go to Ohio a little bit. So I always have, hey, listen, I'm gonna go to Ohio, hey, what, when I'm there, why don't I, uh, I'll go on your podcast or I'll go I'll meet up with you and we'll do some training videos and I have a video guy. So he'll film everything, we'll do all the training videos, we'll build a lot of content for your social media as well and mine. I'll give you all the footage. So that would be thousands of dollars if you hired a video guy, you don't have to do that, I'll give you that. Um, and then I'm gonna be good on video with you as well, right? So I'm giving this person a lot of content, a lot of value. And most of the times, you just do to serve. Remember, this is a long play. And then the person will say, man, thank you so much. This came, like, you know, someone wanted a recipe. Can you write a recipe? They asked me. And my vehicle is not writing. I don't like to write. So I said, how about this? Um, can I shoot you a video of a recipe? So I sent them a really beautiful, like awesome video of my hero pudding. You'll see that on, on soon. So it's my hero pudding, what I you know, make before I work out. And like, they were blown away. They're like, this is like a professional done video. I'm like, yeah, because that's how I, that's how I roll. Like I would, that was way easier for me to do than to write out like, you know, you follow what I'm saying? So, and people say, hey, well, what can I do for you? And most of the time I say this, not yet, letting them know Someday, but not yet, because I'm holding it. I'm building favor capital, true, sincere favor capital. And so it might be one year down the road, it might be three years down the road, but I'm saving it. I'm holding it back until I really like know that they know that I delivered so much service and value to them that when I do ask a favor, it'll never even be close to asking uh, to the amount I've already delivered them, right? So it'll, they'll never feel that they were ever taken advantage of. And, um, and then you go from there. So it's a really good thing to do. So favor capital is amazing. Now, real quick, I want to, I want to, I want to make a very special difference between favor capital and there's, um, 
There's things out there today that I don't, I don't personally agree with, and I think you would agree with me on this. There's techniques today, for instance, uh, my house is for sale, right? So the house goes on the market, and my wife got loads and loads and loads of gifts in the mail. A sold sign, a, f a, sh a fucking shoe, so they could get their, sh their foot in the door. Like, like these gimmicks, right? And there's a, there's a thing going around that people praised, um, and there's a book for it where um, you send people gifts. Like, if I want your favor, I'm going to send you a knife set. Um, if you like, uh, you know, if you like uh, the Buffalo Bills, I'm going to send you a Buffalo Bills sign ball. And to me, that's not favor capital. That's like reverse bribery. Like, I'm going to send you this knife set, and you're going to think of me every, every time you cut your steak. You know, it's like, hey, I, like, but that, that almost, it's almost somewhat guilting that person into, like, accepting your offer or maybe hearing you out, right? Because, you know, when someone sends you a nice gift, you're like, oh, shit, I got to call them back. Right? Like, it puts the person in an uncomfortable place. And so that's very different. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to disrespect the author. Um, it's kind of, he's kind of a big deal, but I think it's the, it's the outside and way of doing it. It's the intention that means everything. Like the intention is, is like the work is coming from my flesh, my blood, my creativity. It's coming from us. I'm not sending you knife sets. Hopefully that this knife set's going to like win you over to get me a deal that benefits me. Right? You follow that? The whole goal is to, this favor capital is to benefit that person, your friend, your acquaintance, so freaking much that you'll never, ever be able to ask as much as you've given. So that's the rule right there. And it's not a knife set. It's not, it's not gifting people so they feel obligated to reciprocate, right? That's almost a weird guilty thing. Um, and if you're secure in yourself, someone sends you a knife set, you're like, thank you. They're like, yeah, well, can we get on that call? Can we do that meeting? No, thanks. Did you get my gift? Yeah, thank you. I didn't tell you to give me the gift. You know, right? So, so with Baber Capital, you're like, listen, how can I serve you? They're like, well, this is what's going on in my life. You try to say, hey, I could do this for you. And you just give your time, you give your service, you give the best of you. And when they say, hey, what can I do to help you? And you're like, not yet, someday. So maybe three, four, five years down the road, whatever it takes, when you do have that favor, and that could be the business you started up. That could be, who knows what comes in your life, but you know there's gonna come a day where you're like, wow. I would love to have the support of some, a good amount of people. Let's say you guys write a book. Let's say you guys have a new business. Let's say you guys, whatever that is, and you're like, wow. And you know, now's the time to call in the favor. Then you politely say, hey, you know, and, and, and by, by the time, if it's three years from now, don't think for a second that I'm still not contacting those people when I feel my heart to do so. So maybe I did that person four or five favors and did videos with them. And they're like, they're like, you helped me four times and I'm asking you, what can I? And, I, and this is what I tell people. I'm like, listen, you're helping me because the fact that you allow me to do what I do and allow to do my gift, you, give, you bring me joy. So trust me, like you're helping me as well. And when you do want to ask that favor, uh, then, it's, then it's a no brainer. And, but you go in not expecting it. So out of 200 people, because in easily in two, a couple of years, you'll have a list of a lot of people. And out of 200, if you say, hey, I'm doing this, and would you guys like to promote it or be an affiliate? And uh, if out of 200, 40 say, I was waiting finally that I could do something and help you. And they will go out of their way, bend over backwards to help you because you gave so much in the beginning. And, um, and, and you, you, you ask, you, number one, you give, unlike that other book, you give with not expecting anything in return. Like when someone says, yeah, Chris, I'll help you. I'm like, oh my God, like I feel like a kid who's about to get a gift because my intention was I'm gonna serve you because in serving you and the doing of what I do for you, that is also my reward. And the fact that, sure, I would like you to help. And when you do wanna help, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I was, but I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, like, I'd love you if you didn't, right? It, it, it wasn't there. But you could turn around and 40, 50 people are like, we got you back. We've been waiting. Thank you so much. Uh, you built such a sincere relationship. Uh, this is really, you know, this is especially in today's thing. And you'll be amazed on you could have 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 people say, we're going to support whatever you do. And then when it's your turn, everybody will rise up. So I think uh, it's over delivering value over and over again. Sometimes without 
accepting reciprocation, but letting them know there will be. Like, I'm not talking false humility. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like, what can I do you? Not yet, man. Um, I'm working. I'm working on it, but uh, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Okay, sure. And then I might come to you four more times. Eight weeks from now, I'm going to text you again or whenever my heart says, hey, it's time to call your champions. And you'd be like, oh, I'm doing good. You know, and then, hey, and maybe you work for them a couple other times or help them out or connect them or, or give them advice. And when that day comes, when you call in and say, hey, listen, I'd love your help. I'd love your mentorship. Do you know somebody? And uh, you kind of call in the favor, the capital, and uh, it'll be such a really good, sincere way of doing it. So versus like uh, where people say, and it's kind of, hey, listen, we're going to send them a gift. We're going to do this thing. It's almost tactical. Uh, it's kind of a guilting, shaming, bribing, reverse bribing versus um, it's okay that it takes longer, but you're building real relationships. You're giving so much value and you know in your heart, there's nothing I could ask of that person that will ever reach the amount of value I gave them. So that's the breakdown of favor capital. So you have capital, financial capital, which is probably the, the slowest earning capital you could have to do something in your life of potential. Then you have relationship capital. That's leveraging friends and relationships, right? That's super powerful, even more powerful, because now you have wisdom and minds and ideas. And then favor capital, that's just, that's uh, favor capital sometimes could get down to the point where it's like, that's, that's God forbid you murdered someone and they're like, I got a shovel, where do we gotta bury the dude? You know, like favorite capital just takes relationships to such a deep level because they know your heart, they know you're true. They're like, wow, this, you know, this, they have so much respect, it's deep, it's blood deep. And so they know when you do ask a favor, they know your character, they know your credibility, they know who you are, and that person would then be willing to promote support uh, because you have helped them so much in the past. But remember, the key is this, you help them in the areas that you are really good and enjoy doing because then you never resent them. So let's for say like, um, and you, you know, if uh, my neighbor was digging uh, landscaping and was digging a fence and I said, hey, can I help you? I'm, I'm building a fence. I don't build fences. So for me to go out there and dig pens, uh, fence posts because they're building a fence right here. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, to me, dig up and sweat, you know, be in the Houston sun and do all this fence stuff, it's not my lane, so I'd wind up resenting. I'd be pissed off if I asked for a favor later and they didn't do it, right? So, so you wanted, the favor has to be tied with your heroic purpose. So because we do our heroic purpose because it's a heroic purpose. Like our reward is in doing our heroic purpose. So the fact that we could do our heroic purpose for somebody else gives them the best value ever and gives us a reward. So there's no resentment because we're actually thankful that we were able to work in our lane, right? So make sure, I mean, if you don't build fences, don't be building fences and stuff like that, but do something uh, uh, that you could provide a huge amount of value with. So favor capital, I will, uh, that will be a title of a book. I got seven books and favor capital will be definitely be one of them because it's a, uh, we know about it, and I think uh, when you look back at successful people, it's there. It's a long play, right? So it's not instant gratification, because it does take, uh, in today's society, it does take, it could take years for someone to build trust in another person to say, hey, this is a real, this, we know what this person's like, we could trust them, and um, it's, it's a really wonderful thing, and you feel great doing it. Like, you know, I'm at the airport two hours later on the plane Wi-Fi, I got through my entire list of champions, and uh, then it's just the amount of emails and text you get for the next two to three days on how people were just gracious that literally they got an email for one thing only. I'm just checking up on you and let me know how I could serve and help you. Like, you know, I mean, just how many people, you know what it was? It's the equivalent of getting those, like a nice thank you card or an appreciation card. And I don't think any of us got that. I don't think any of us do get that. So, um, and you just feel good. I mean, so if nothing came out of it, at least you had... Uh, two days of brightening up people's lives and, and feeling good. You see what I'm saying? Like nothing, nothing evil comes out of that. Only good will come from it. But I guarantee many opportunities, many ideas, many unknowns will happen. Many relationships will be brought in. Many connections will be made. So wherever you're at right now, understand one of the fastest ways to rocket ship into new unknowns. Like talk about a catalyst, like a, a bomb of unknowns going off. Guys, go on your contacts 
And if you really, and you gotta give a shit about the person too, like if you really like or care or want to, or hey, I haven't spoken, write them down, make a list, 100, 50, 200, 300, and then text, email, and watch what'll happen. I promise, if you guys could promise you could do that this week, would sit down, oh good, it's a Friday, do it this weekend, you'll be amazed, you'll feel so great. It'll be such a gift, it'll be a gift for you doing it, and to them. So hopefully you enjoyed today's Hero Fuel it was about favor capital. Uh, it's something that um, it doesn't take any cash to do. You have it. It just it's giving of you, and it's it's really the greatest asset, one of the greatest commodities you have. So if you have any questions like that, I will answer all these as well. I will answer all those comments as well. Please share this. Please like this, and uh, send it to as many people as possible. And I will be on again on Instagram later for. Uh, Hero Lab. So Hero Lab, if you guys are watching this on Facebook, Hero Lab is when we just do live Q&A and we split the screen and we will actually do one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, with people in the areas of mind, body, business, and future. They're great. All right. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. I will see you um, soon.